Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Holstrom here at the Florida Center for Back and Neck Pain in Largo, Florida. Uh, patients and, and people frequently ask me, do you treat whiplash? Well, whiplash, commonly, when people think whiplash, they think of their necks. But whiplash can occur, and whiplash injuries can occur in all joints in areas of the body, they include the neck, the middle back, the lower back, the shoulder, the rib cage. With whiplash, generally there is injury to the connective tissue, sometimes the joint, and in some circumstances it can cause fracture of the bone. A good physical exam in history and oftentimes a good diagnostic workup are very helpful in determining what is causing the pain of whiplash. The pain of whiplash injuries commonly comes from ligament damage, but it also can come from injury to the capsular uh, suspension bands which hold the joints together and also the disc. The intervertebral disc is the spacer between the bones of the spine. It has a jelly substance in the middle surrounded by rings like rings of an onion. And then the outer portion of the disc has it surrounded by a tough fibrous bag which attaches to the bone above and the bone below. The forces of whiplash can cause injury to the disc to include those rings like an onion in that outer fibrous bag. And the jelly substance can migrate through that canal and stick its head out through the outer portion of the disc. This is a disc herniation and they are frequently seen in whiplash injuries and involve predominantly the neck and the lower back but in some forms of trauma can also involve the middle back or the thoracic spine. We treat a lot of whiplash injuries uh, uh, throughout the years here at the Florida Center for Back and Neck Pain and treatment begins with a good diagnosis. If we determine what, where the problem and the pain is coming from then we can determine a good therapy solution. Therapeutic so solutions could in, can and do include in the initial stages the use of cold therapy, the use of light soft tissue massage, the use of electrotherapy, which is nerve and muscle stimulation to help reduce pain and spasm. Frequently we'll use ultrasound or ultrasound mixed with nerve and muscle stimulation. Ultrasound is high speed sound waves which produce a deep warmth from the inside out but can also be used only to push out the swelling and uh, congestion from the injury without heat production. We will oftentimes, and as soon as we, we can, begin to uh, use joint mobilization or manipulation. And in cases of, of disc injury or spines that have pre-existing wear and tear, axial decompression is often a very good tool in treating uh, whiplash injuries to the spine in both the neck, the lower back, but also the middle back as well. As patients improve with whiplash types of injuries and the pain reduces, our goal is always, almost always, to involve them in some type of rehab strengthening. Because if an injury heals but it's not stabilized, we have a very high percentage of, of of probability that that is going to be a repetitive problem. As the patients show ability, our goal is to bring them into active care, into exercise to help stabilize, strengthen, and improve endurance. Over the course of time, uh, I have found that people with whiplash injuries oftentimes respond extremely well to these forms of therapy and uh, uh, leave care very happy with their results. I'm Dr. Greg Holstrom here at the Florida Center for Back and Neck Pain in Largo, Florida.